Officials have announced a new $350 million prison in Leavenworth. It's a move praised by local chambers of commerce, but not everyone's happy about it. Our Casey Jones is live from Leavenworth now. Casey, why are some people concerned about this project? Well, Ellen, it's no secret right now there's been a lot of talk about criminal justice reform and some people are concerned that pouring $350 million into building a prison will not address the long-standing issues that have recently been re-exposed within the system. The Leavenworth Federal Prison is one of the oldest in the country. It houses close to 1,500 inmates. Now, federal officials are putting more than $350 million toward building a new facility. We need to spend $350 million on services rehabilitation and restoration, not just putting somebody in a cell. Christine McDonald has been arrested more than 100 times on prostitution and drug charges. She spent time in state prison. The last time she was locked up, she became blind. Now she advocates for prison reform and reentry support. It's easy to build a prison and lock somebody away. It's a lot harder to invest in people. Federal officials were in town earlier this week praising Operation Legend, which has already resulted in close to 1,500 arrests. More arrests in Kansas City or more arrests in across the country, it means that there is a need for uh, the ability to, to house, to protect uh, citizens from uh, violent behavior. Senator Moran says the federal prison population has decreased from more than 220,000 to less than 180,000. Federal officials also say with the passage of the First Step Act, there's more of a focus on reducing the likelihood people will return to prison. We start reentry on day one. When someone comes in our system, we start the process to start working to get them out. And, and these facilities are important for us so that we have the room and the capacity. The latest data from the U.S. Sentencing Commission shows close to 50% of offenders were rearrested within eight years of their release. No matter how much um, reform or services, you're always going to have barriers and challenges that are almost insurmountable, which often sends um, offenders back into criminal behavior. All right, so the prison is not a done deal yet. There still has to be an environmental study conducted. And if they pass all environmental standards, federal officials will likely break ground on this project sometime in the next couple of years. As for what to do with this 100-year-old facility, Senator Moran said so far they've tossed up some ideas about potentially turning it into a law enforcement museum or using it as a training facility for the United States Bureau of Prisons. This is, of course, a story we will continue to stay on top of for you. Reporting live from Leavenworth, Casey Jones, KCTV5 News.